All right, Walker Nation, it's Dave Solo back with you. Walker Stalker Con, day two, and I am here with a legend. We're here with Russ Dreiner, who was Johnny in the original Night of the Living Dead. How are you, sir? Dave, great to meet you, man. Great How are you? you? I'm doing well. What do you think of Walker Stalker Con so far? Uh, this, ha without any uh, puffery, this has been the best organized convention that I've ever attended. These folks really have it together. It's excellent. Yeah, they take care of the fans. They take care of the guests. It's very business-like operation, and I'm loving it. I agree, absolutely. So you know, at Walker Nation, we're a podcast, we're a YouTube channel. We love all things horror, mainly zombies. And first of all, on behalf of Walker Nation, thank you for the part you played. Because dare I say, if you know you hadn't been Johnny and and, and played that character, we might not be here. So thank you, first of all. Well, you're you're quite welcome. I, <laughs> Uh, absolutely delighted to have been a part of the original production. Uh, George Romero and I started a production company in Pittsburgh probably about five years before we made Night of the Living Dead. We were doing TV commercials, industrial films, uh, business films, that sort of thing. Accumulating filmmaking equipment as we went. So by the time uh, 1967 came around, we had all of the equipment we needed, all the camera equipment, lighting equipment, editing, audio equipment. <clears throat> so we thought it's time to do our first, what we refer to as a real movie. Right. Did you know at the time when you were doing it what it would turn into, what it would become? We had no clue. And I don't think any filmmaker or any creative person can ever know that. Uh, I, and in our case, we just tried to do the best job we could of making a movie, a real movie, uh, with the budget uh, that we had available, with the time we had available. And so we did that. We made the best movie we could, but the fans have made it a classic. Absolutely. What do you, what do you think it is about the classic Night of the Living Dead that still holds up to this day? Because it does. Um, basically, I think it's a, it's a pretty good story structure. It's uh, people in jeopardy by, uh, put in jeopardy by something that they don't really know or understand. Uh, and it's, it's, it's like, um, it's not too different today than, a, than even a hokey premise like Night of the Living Dead where recently dead people are coming back to life. We have no idea, for example, what's going on in Syria. But Syria is far away, so we in the United States kind of aren't very aware of it. But if, if Syria was in Framingham and there was something really bad going on in Framingham, I can guarantee you we'd be paying attention to it. Absolutely. Final question. The zombie apocalypse hits tomorrow. What's the first thing you're going to do? Um, I would probably say, <laughs> what a question, wow, <laughs> it hits tomorrow. I would probably go to the basement. The basement's a good place to go, <laughs> especially if it's stocked with preserved food. And bourbon. And bourbon, I like that answer. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you, Dave, my pleasure.